pretty good day today, day one. Yeah, so today was, uh, it was definitely a long trek. It was a long day for me. <laughs> today, we had quite a eventful day. First day is almost coming to an end. Uh, pretty good day. In preparation for our 40-day expedition, the team is undertaking a 10-day journey to recon the Oregon-Idaho section of the Oregon Trail route. Our goal is to plan, practice, and scout everything we can in order to better prepare ourselves for next year's expedition. Our voyage through Oregon and Idaho will be a chance to iron out the gear we will bring, how it will be organized, and provide opportunities to strengthen the team on the trail. Although nothing can completely prepare us for our expedition next year, the challenges we face on this trip will be our best chance to experience what it will take as we travel down the Oregon Trail. No amount of planning behind the scenes can prepare a team like putting wheels on the trail and spending 10 days working together to complete over 1,500 miles down the dirt road. This first obstacle on our path tightens our process, hones our skills, and gives us the confidence we'll need as we put countless miles on the trail. So we're here at the first spot of, uh, on the trail that gets a little gnarly. Um, the locals, I'm told, call it the slip, and essentially it's a huge washout where everything's just kind of sweeping down the hill so we're going to attempt to get all three trucks down the uh, slip here and we'll see how it goes miles in this place they call the slip it's a big washout you come down this right curve and it's just like straight down kind of go over a hump and take a big left curve and then you have to crawl this big old hill there was some hesitation uh, I think for everyone but Jay initially because we hadn't done it. That was awesome. That was really fun. We got everybody through unscathed. Nobody wrecked their truck or anything. Even a big uh, Cummins diesel up there got through, so that's all we can ask for. We just went through this awesome section of off-road. Big old drop down. Uh, it was really intense. We all had to be in four low. But uh, sweet, because it's just preparing us for the ultimate goal of doing the Oregon Trail next year sometime. Mitch was uh, heading down the trail following everybody and he had a muddy spot and slid off the road a little bit. So here we are trying to winch him out. There's a tree up above us right now that we have to uh, winch to to kind of tie his front end from slipping out. And then he's gonna try to winch himself out of it. So we'll see how it goes. As the day unfolded and we experienced what the expedition threw our way, we realized it was small obstacles like these that can keep you from your goal. Working together efficiently is going to be key to achieving what we set out to do. A couple of miles down the road, you know, I ended up uh, going across this one little patch on the road and it was wet, you know, a creek had been ran through and uh, yeah, I ended up, the truck ended up sliding off almost <laughs> off the road there. So we took media action and uh, we definitely winched out of there the right way, and we did everything right, and uh, nothing got hurt, nobody got hurt, which is awesome. Well, Mitch 
fish got stuck and he went all, almost went over the side of that cliff. But we got him out. A little winching, a little toe strap, and a little uh, favor from above. So we're back on the trail. The day's journey would be an attempt to make the nearly 160 miles on the trail to the Dalles, Oregon. And with nearly half the day already spent, we stopped at High Rocks to take in the view, and it was back on the trail to try and meet our goal. We're just about to hit Barlow Road, which is actually part of the Oregon Trail. This is actually the first part of the actual Oregon Trail route, and Barlow Road was a uh, overland route uh, through the uh, Mount Hood National Forest. So we're a little behind our schedule as far as getting to the Dalles, but I think we're going to try and make it to Wymeck. Maybe a little further, maybe we can get uh, a little closer to the Dalles than that. But we're going to push, see how far, how far we can get. As you can see, we had a rock and a stump and then a, a big log in the way that we had to navigate around. Makes for fun trail. Makes for really fun trail. Good communication and teamwork is key to any expedition, and these situations give us the practice we'll need as we face unknown obstacles along the way. That was pretty fun. Uh, super tight hairpin turn without, you know, two other guys there telling me which way to turn and stuff. I don't think I would be able to do it by myself, and that's really important for, you know, obviously the the big trip. It's like teamwork is key to be able to make th make sure things are running smoothly, and and uh, you know it's gonna be 40 days on the on the trail, and that's a lot of a lot of time where teamwork is needed. So. It wasn't that gnarly. It was just a tight turn around the log, but it's a pretty, pretty good sized log over there. But we're gonna try to make it to our destination. We didn't think we were gonna make it, but we're gonna push hard so we didn't do it. So we're uh, gonna hop back in the car and on the trail truck. again. The truck. I brought my Prius. So. <laughs> First day is almost coming to an end. Uh, 
pretty good day. We didn't quite make it as far as we wanted to. We're trying to make it closer to the Dallas, but uh, we didn't we didn't get that far. Pretty good day today, day one. Um, we uh, covered a fair amount of ground. I think like 80 miles today. We had quite a eventful day. Yeah. So today was uh, it was definitely a long trek. We drove nine plus hours. It was a long day for me. <laughs> I. Uh, had some pretty big obstacles. It was fun, man. We went through uh, the slip. The coolest part was definitely uh, 20 miles in, this place they call the slip. And it's a pretty big washout um, on Abbott Road. You come down this right curb and it's just like straight down. You kind of go over a hump and take a big left curb and then you have to crawl this big old hill. Or a big drop off and you kind of come around a tight turn and it's kind of a little rutted out and you got to go up this hill. The washout, and that was pretty sketchy at first, but you guys uh, walked me through and it got down pretty good over that. And then we had another incident where someone almost slid off the side of a mountain. <laughs> uh, successfully recovered them. A couple of miles down the road, you know, I ended up uh, going across this one little patch on the road and it was wet, you know, the creek had been ran through and uh, yeah, I ended up, the truck ended up sliding off almost <laughs> off the road there. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be going good and, and it held its own, so it's a good day. Hanging out with some good friends and some good brothers and having a good old time exploring the uh, great outdoors. And my truck, you know, it's, it's taking a beating, but it's, ah, who cares, right? We're out here having fun and that's all that matters. A lot of cool trail and uh, a lot of like just really cool scenery and yeah, good day. Just stoked to be out here, man. It's crazy going that hard for that long you get a little tired, but there's nothing like uh, you like to see behind me, so that's what makes it all worth it. The experiences on day one were a precursor to what we would face on the rest of the expedition, but the history we wandered upon the next day would leave us a deep respect for the pioneers that traveled before us.